Hey there, YouTubers. 10,000 Lakes here. Going to do a quick unboxing for you for the uh, Mystery Tackle Box for the month of February 2017. I had to think about that for a second. Um, I'm a big fan of the Mystery Tackle Boxes. Um, I recently checked out their competitor, Lucky Tackle Box. Um, I sent in an order for a Bass Box um, at the beginning of this month, February 1st, and as of February 14th, I have not, they have not, they've taken my money, but they haven't shipped the product yet, <clears throat> so they were supposed to send it out on February 10th, and they still haven't, nothing's happening on their end, so I sent them an email and just said, hey, what's going on, still waiting to hear back from them, so I'm really hoping that um, that this is just kind of a, a glitch in the matrix or something because um, I'd really hate to have my first experience with uh, Lucky Tackle Box be a, a, a bad one. So um, I'm, I'm sure that they're busy and stuff like that, but I don't know. Um, Mystery Tackle Box n never has any issues getting their boxes out on time. I always receive this one every month on the same day. So um, yeah, so anyway, there you go. Uh, let's open this up and uh, see what we have here. Um, a couple of baits. Okay. Right off the bat, there's a, a card in here that has all the different baits on it. Um, and I'm noticing some stick baits. These are called bruiser baits, stick baits. Um, they retail for two fifteen, which there's only four of them in here, so that's seems kind of expensive, I guess, for stick baits. Fifty cents a piece, a little bit more than fifty cents a piece. I don't know, maybe that's about right. I have a hard time kind of keeping track of that stuff. A really nice um, bluish, you know, color with green fleck in it. So, and these baits are uh, kind of neat because they have the um, they have a little slot in them to put your uh your texas rigging offset wide gap hooks in them or whatever so um maybe it helps with the hookup ratio or at least that's what i hear i don't know if it does or not um i really never have any issues with that particular thing but uh terminal tackle I have some mustad hooks uh these are size sixes these are treble hooks short shank um so that's really good i'll definitely find some use for those Sorry for the glare and replacing uh, some hooks on some of my crankbaits and stuff like that. Red hooks re work really well in the Mississippi River. So, um, yeah, definitely check that out. Okay, um, here's some craws. I got a pack of four of big bite bait craws. These are called HD craws. Um, and they are orange with blue highlights. Um, it's not showing up particularly well on on camera, but the uh, they they do kind of shimmer a little bit. The blue section shimmers, um, so they look pretty neat. Looks like they're going to have some good action. Um, I can definitely use these for trailers or Texas rigging or anything that anybody would use a craw for. Everybody fishes craws, and I do too because there's a kajillion of them in the Mississippi. Okay, now down to the real the real good stuff. Um, here's a, a Lunker Hunt. Oh, I'm sorry. These craws come in at $5.99 for four. Whew. That's pretty pricey. <laughs> um, even if they work well, I don't know if I would spend like, <laughs> I don't know what that comes out to you, $1.50 a craw or, or whatever. That seems, uh, that seems like a lot. Lunker Hunt. Here's just a little jerk bait. This is a, a floating jerk bait. Weighs half an ounce, uh, which is nice. You can cast it pretty far. Um, dives up to 6.5 feet, I guess. Um, yeah, I had a, this color will work really well for me because uh, I fished a color very similar to this um, at the end of last year, and I just I slayed smallmouth on them. So uh, I think it's I think it's going to work out well. Um, yeah, wow, that is a, a shallow diving jerkbait. Look at the look at the bill on that. <laughs> it 
So I'm not a huge fan of, uh, of floating jerk baits. I would prefer a suspended jerk bait if I'm being honest. Uh, but you know, early season when they're really up shallow and stuff like that, uh, these, this is going to work out well. And it does, has a rattle and everything. So I have luck with these lunker hunt baits, you know, and here's where the real money is in the, in the box. <clears throat> it's a lucky craft deep diver crank. Um, this is in a shad color of some sort. It's like a shad chartreuse. Let's see, what do they call this? Pearl Treadfin Shad. Okay. Uh, looks pretty skinny compared to most of the cranks that I throw. Uh, quite frankly, this particular color, it, it won't do very well in the Mississippi, or at least not where I am. Uh, it's so muddy that it's hard, it's hard to get anything white to show up in, in, in my area. Um, you know, the real like bright white shad color just don't do well in my area. I, I'll throw them and I'll throw them and I'll throw them and, and they just can't see them. It's nice that it has a rattle. I can hear it already. It has a rattle. Um, it's, it's nice that, you know, it'll put out vibrations, stuff like that. So they'll probably, they probably could find it, but it's not going to be as successful as some of the other lures that I throw. So I'll probably hold on to this one and wait for uh, a clear water situation. So if I go fish like a clear water reservoir or something like that, I might throw this. But uh, for my day-to-day, -day, not a super helpful lure for me, but it's still cool. I mean, like it's Lucky Craft. You got to love Lucky Craft. They make good lures and they catch fish. So um, it's a nice lure. And then only other things I got in here, sticker. That's a new sticker for them new style or whatever um then there's a dibble uh, i do read these by the way that's a nice little promotional thing not promotional but it's a nice thing that they nice little publication they put out um and i'll i'll read them uh you know at night or whatever um something that i want to point out <clears throat> at the bottom of every single one of these oh by the way that lucky craft lure was 15.99 I don't know if I mentioned that. At the bottom of that little card, you'll notice that there's a, a website. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and if you go to that website, it breaks down all the lures that you bought for the month or, you know, you receive for your, your monthly tackle subscription. Um, a lot of times they'll have videos, they'll have um, extra information. Um, I want to encourage you to go and check that out because, number one, Mystery Tackle Box doesn't advertise it very well, and so I don't think very many people know about it. And number two, um, I would actually like to see them expand it. Um, so the descriptions of the lures and the applications and stuff like that is pretty basic. And it'd be great to see them spend a little bit more time on it and really um, really expand their, their offering there. So the more people that use it, the more people, I think, uh, or the more likely they are to kind of increase their content there. Anyway, YouTubers, thanks a lot for watching. I'm getting a... a tackle warehouse order tomorrow so stay tuned for that i'll definitely put that up and uh yeah just waiting for the waiting for the water to thaw so i can get out there early spring bites should be good so we've had such a warm winter that uh honestly i don't think it's going to take very long i'm at right now that it's like 50 degrees outside so in minnesota so it's like unheard of um but anyway there you go all right youtubers thanks for watching talk to you next time